Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today's video is going to be another little kind of DIY hack situation. I have been doing kind of like a mini series of different hacks and things that I'm doing in our lounge to feed into our kind of lounge makeover. I couldn't fit everything in one video so I'm trying to split it up as much as possible. So the things that we've done already are the sideboard makeover. I'm currently working on the fireplace makeover which I think will be going live before this video. And then today one key piece of furniture in our lounge that we do not currently have the coffee table and I have been waiting so long to film this and wait for the opportune moment um i've had all of the stuff sat in the garage ready to go the weather is sunny we have flooring down and yeah i'm gonna crack on with it i'm just gonna literally try and get it all done today because honestly i feel like this is like one of the pieces that we've been really really wanting for ages now so let me get everything in um show you all the bits that i'm gonna use for this video and we'll get cracking with it. Okay, first item is in. Second item and supplies. Okay, so before I talk you through all of the supplies that I've got, let me talk to you about the vision. So I know a lot of people will think, why am I making my own coffee table? And the answer is that I could not afford the one that I wanted. <laughs> when I say couldn't afford, I don't really want to spend that much money. Like even if we were to save up for a piece of furniture, I just thought, you know what, I can make this myself and get the exact look I want and it'll be far, far cheaper. So the kind of style that I wanted to go for was a really nice big round coffee table. I feel like we have so many kind of like square angles. I definitely wanted like a round one just to kind of break the room up a little bit and get some more kind of soft edges in the room. I want something black to contrast with a lot of like the whites and the light wood tones that are going on here. I didn't want it to be solid black. <laughs> so I wanted something that had like a wood grain to it or something like that, a bit of texture. Um, and I specifically, the style that I wanted to go for was this kind of pedestal base. So nice and kind of modern, but a kind of timeless feel as well. So a nice round top with a kind of solid base to it. So I feel like the idea that I had in my head was so, so specific that when I looked online, the cheapest one I could find was like, there was some about the 600 mark, 800. There were loads over a thousand pounds. And yeah, I'm just, I'm just not that kind of person. I don't mind splashing out on certain pieces, but I feel like this is one that I could just really easily create myself. So first step, I hit up Facebook Marketplace. Always my first step when I'm searching for anything like that. And I managed to pick up this bad boy right here. Like I said, I want quite a big, we've got quite a big lounge. Um, so I wanted something a decent size. I managed to find this wooden tabletop on Facebook Marketplace for £10. So it was actually a table and chair set for £20. I messaged the woman and said, look, I only need the table. Would you consider selling that to me for £10? It's a kind of like a round pub style table. The legs have already been disposed of. I've got a couple of bits to take off the back of that, but it is a solid wood tabletop. And I think it is one meter 20 in diameter. So it's quite a large piece of wood for 10 pounds. So obviously I'm gonna have to sand that back and I'll show you what I'm gonna use on it in a minute. So once I found my tabletop, next step was finding a base. I went to Facebook Marketplace again, searched far and wide. I couldn't find anything that was perfect, the right shape and size that I wanted. So I ended up just going to B&Q and picking up a flower pot. So this one, I don't know if it has the name on it. It does not have the name on it, but this one is 39 centimeters in diameter by 38 centimeters high, I think it says. It's a 33 liter pot. It's, I think it's like a resiny type pot, but it looks like stone. So this is gonna be our base for the table here. I'm gonna flip it upside down and attach the tabletop to this. We actually temporarily had this set up 
in our lounge when we first moved in and we literally just rested the tabletop on top of the flower pot it wasn't attached or anything and it was already super sturdy so obviously i'm going to be attaching this properly but it was nice to know that even without it being officially attached that it was still like pretty sturdy as it was so apart from one time when rocky tried to jump up and steal food from the coffee table and it flipped but he's learned his lesson now and we've got that out of the way so in terms of finishes and stuff like i said i'm going to be sanding back this dark wood tabletop and i picked myself up a little pot of this this is the ron seal 10 year wood stain i think it's actually like an exterior one but it doesn't really matter does it um so this is in satin ebony i don't think i realized it was in satin when i got it to be honest i think i thought it was matte Hmm. Anyway, we'll see how we get on with this. Um, I've had this in my stash for a very long time now. It's too late to return it. We may as well try it. So black wood stain. So like I said, I want that kind of wood grain to show through, hopefully. I've never actually stained anything black. And then I also had some of this left over, which is just um, a clear matte interior varnish. I may end up adding like a tiny, tiny bit of like black wood stain to that so it doesn't go all milky. But I have this left over from our last dining table. I hope there's enough in there. Doesn't seem very full. And then for the base. So at the moment, it's this kind of, it's a nearly black effect. And I do love this. I don't know if you can see it on camera that well, but it does have this kind of speckled texture to it. I want to leave it like that, but I don't know if when the top is black, whether that's gonna look super gray. So we'll see when we get to it. I'm hoping I can leave it so we have that nice stone texture because I think that would look a lot more um, kind of high end. But if it doesn't match the way I want it to, I will just give it a lick of paint. This is the paint I've been using for literally everything I use on the sideboard, the fireplace. It is the Good Home from B&Q, multi-surface durable paint. It's as you can use it on cabinets, furniture, furniture, tiles, floors, radiators. Like literally you can use it on absolutely everything and it's self-priming. So what's comes to us, I will whack a coat of paint on that. Um, that's pretty much the plan. I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna attach the tabletop to the base at this point in time. But let's just get this outside, get it prepped, um, sanded, ready for staining. So the first thing I did was take this tabletop outside. It still had these kind of support bits on the underside of it. So I started off by unscrewing these to remove the base. Um, annoyingly, it wasn't just attached by screws. They'd kind of been pegged and glued in as well. So I had to kind of work my way around and kind of pry them off a little bit. I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright And for the first time in a long time I'm alright I've seen a lot of change Been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same as they were a year ago But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago Once those base bits were off, I flipped the tabletop back over and started by sanding the top of it. Now, this was really time consuming and impossible. I don't know what kind of like lacquer was used on this. Probably should have tried and used a bit of like varnish stripper or something, but my sander was not touching it at all. It was not making a dent in it. 
I sanded off as much as I could and I gave it a bit of a clean. I decided to just test out some of my varnish on it to see if it was going to take it or not. And to be honest, I absolutely hated this varnish. It was really thick, really gloopy. I didn't like the satin finish. It didn't take too well to the wood either. Okay, there's been a bit of a change of events. I went outside to look at how the um, stain was drying. Oh, rest this one here. Okay, I went outside to see how the stain was drying and I hated it. I absolutely hated it. Um, it's satin, I didn't want satin anyway. I don't even know why I bought satin. I obviously had a massive brain fart. Um, so, I decided to do some experimenting. I have flipped the table over and where the underside was just that exposed wood, um, I mixed up my own stain. So that multi-surface paint that I showed you guys earlier that I was considering painting the base with, I just watered it down 50-50. I've been painting it on with a brush and then wiping the excess off with one of those magic eraser sponges. And it's giving me exactly the kind of vibe that I was looking for. So I did a bit of experimenting and in the end what I did was use the underside of the table because it was bare wood and it didn't have this awful kind of lacquer on it that I couldn't get off. So what I did was just go in and the holes that were left from that kind of base bit, I just filled them in with some multi-purpose filler and sanded those back. Once those were sanded back, I swept off all of the dust, gave it a really good wipe down and I went in with my kind of DIY stain that I had made. So like I said, this is 50% of that multi-purpose paint from Good Home and 50% water. And all I did was just wipe it on with a paintbrush and kind of smooth it out with a sponge. So I'm going with the grain of the wood for this um, and I'm just kind of working it into the grain of the wood. So it's more of a stain rather than like a paint treatment that sits on top. But I'll be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago Right, so I've gotten this as smooth and as even coverage as I can get it. I'm going to go in with this, which is my interior varnish just to give it a protective coat it's a matte clear one but I'm gonna add a tiny bit of that black because I've heard that sometimes when you put varnish on black it can go a bit milky I've seen a lot of change been through a lot of pain some things are not the same as they were a year ago but I'll be okay I move on each and every day the past is where it stays, way back a year ago. I've changed for the better this time. I thought I would never be fine. I strive just to say I'm alright. And for the first time in a long time, I'm alright. Okay guys, so the tabletop has dried. I'm about to bring it in and attach it to the base of this and hopefully that should be this project finished. The way that I'm gonna attach it, I'm gonna lay it top side down, mark out the center point. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of adhesive onto the bit of this these kind of bits here I'm going to add a tiny bit of adhesive and I also have this scrap piece of wood which I've just kind of drilled a hole through and I have a wood screw so basically I'm going to put this on the inside of the plant pot and then the nail should come through the hole um, and into the underside of the tabletop just for an extra bit of support um, rather than just the adhesive. So I'm gonna get it in now. The underside of the table is not pretty, guys. I'll put a little disclaimer here about that. But yeah, let's get it done. I'll 
will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays So to mark out the location of the base of my table all I did was put the plant pot on the tabletop and I went round with my tape measure and made sure that there was an equal distance all the way around Once I was happy that it was in the perfect position I got my pen and I just drew a mark in the very center through the whole of the plant pot I'm using this no-nonsense grab adhesive. I've used this before and it's really, really strong. So I'm just adding that to the raised bits of the plant pot, flipping it over and placing it on the table using that mark that I made through the hole in the plant pot. But I did double check it with my tape measure anyway. And then I just screwed in my piece of wood to make sure it was super secure. Once it was all dry and fixed securely, I was able to flip it over and this is what the finished product looked like. Right guys, I am officially knackered. It's been a weekend full of DIY stuff. Um, so not only have I been doing the table this weekend, I've been doing our mantle as well. I think that video is gonna go live first. So I'll link that here in case you haven't seen our kind of like DIY wood floating mantle. But the coffee table is done as well. So little disclaimer, um, it's not perfect. It's definitely not perfect. There are some blemishes to the top. There are some bits that need kind of touching up. But I feel like at this point in time, I can't strive for perfection. Ugh, I'm just honestly absolutely knackered. I just wanted it done. But I am so, so happy with how it turned out. A little bit of change of plans and all of that in terms of which side of the tabletop I used, how I did it, the products I used. I always try and make it clear that I don't know what I'm doing. I've never ever stained anything dark before. I've never done a project like this. So hopefully this can be more of like a learning curve for both of us. I also decided to keep the base of it as is. It looks so, so good. Honestly, I love having that kind of stone effect. I feel like it looks far more high end than if it were painted. And I am try I'm trying to do that where I don't just wanna paint everything. I want to have more texture and details in items as well. I feel like that's something I'm trying to do more of as we kinda like do bits of the house. So really happy with how this turned out. Little recap in terms of pricing. So the tabletop was 10 pounds. The plant pot, we actually got the plant pot months ago. I think it was on offer for 30 pounds. I tried to look for the exact same one. I can't find it. I found one similar, but it's like 60 quid. But if you are patient, you can get something like that on Facebook Marketplace. It's just that I couldn't find anything exactly what I wanted um, on Facebook Marketplace, but you can definitely save money that way. So that took us up to about 40 pounds. The stain that I didn't end up using was like another 10 pounds. So basically, a table that was originally going to cost me at least like six to eight hundred pounds has cost me in the ballpark of like 50 pounds. So I'm really, really happy with that. Oh, varnish, I didn't include that. There's a lot of stuff that I already had the supply, so it's a bit different than if you were starting from scratch. But yeah, definitely worth giving a go. I feel like this is a really on trend piece at the moment. Um, yeah, I've got lots more coming up. Obviously, I haven't styled it nicely how I would like it. The lounge is very much still a work in progress, but all of these bits are going to feed into the larger kind of um, lounge makeover video. So keep your eyes peeled for that because it'll be coming up very, very soon. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Like I said, way more videos coming up with renovation, also some lifestyle and fashion bits as well. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.